Okay, this is La Coupole, which is a V2 factory not far from Saint Omar in France. And this is the way in. It's very difficult to get scale here. Um, but this is the entrance tunnel, which is bigger than a certainly twice the size of a London underground tube. And then there's the top of the dome, which must be what, 25, 30 metres? 10 storeys? It's quite a long way up. Immediately feels cold in here. This is the first tunnel. The plan drawn up by the um, Royal Engineers, December 1944, after it was captured. That just shows the scale of it. So the entrance is up there. One long corridor. I'm standing there, and there's a line of um, storage corridors to the left, and it turns around and there's another massive corridor. So that little corridor there, and the dock down is this corridor here. So, and all of this was built in nine months, this whole complex. The lines that go to the left and right were for storage of the rockets apparently. An aerial photo of the site with the uh, concrete tank at the bottom there. And I'm interested in the two big craters, and they were tall boys, which are 12,000 pounds, the biggest bomb in the uh, Allied arsenal. This picture below is a higher altitude picture. Again, the dome is, is well, it's there, but it's not visible. But this is the these are the fields around. The dome. So this is quite large scale picture. There's a airfield there. But you can see from the right the concentration of the Allied bombing. And this looks like an ordinary museum. It's actually been built inside the top of the cupola, as it's called, the dome which you can see in concrete spread out into the distance. Now this um, exit was blown up by the French when they were trying to develop the site after the war. To get equipment in, but you can see the... Uh, <coughs> apparently it's double the normal amount of steel reinforcing. The dome is uh, visible, so again, that's where I am, I'm in the museum that's in there now. The two um, rocket exits were about, would have been about here. <coughs> These are the diagram. So again, the museum is located in the, underneath the dome, and then out the side with those two rocket bays, if you like. This is down near the base of where the rockets were prepared. The thing to remember here is that this isn't finished. So this is the centre chalk core that was supposed to be removed once the dome had been completed and uh, they, didn't, they didn't finish it. So this would be the side wall and then in theory this lot wouldn't exist. So you can see the height of a Three, four storey building there. But this shouldn't be here. This is where they should have reconstructed the the AE, uh, the, the, the V2s. This diagram might help. So, camera position is at the base of what would have been a, a big empty space. And the internal space would have been separated by the wall. You see the nodules on the wall there. So that's the nodule up there. So they ran all the way around. There's the three nodules. They ran all the way around, or they would have, assuming all the chalk had been taken out. See them again there. So 
this is recorded at the end of the visit. It's a bit of a better idea of what goes on. This was a railway track bringing in the rockets and other equipment into the uh, underground facility. There's the dome which was um, the dome was finished but the inside wasn't. And the two exits were in this bank, or would have been in this bank, and the launches would have taken place in this area here to the right. Which uh, today this is the car park. But again that was never achieved due to the successful Allied bombing.